Hello, I'm Emily Haller and welcome to Warwick Weekly. This week, Warwick's Tennis Social Secretary faced accusations of snobbery from fellow students over the controversial Council Estate Chav circling theme, which saw members of the tennis team don tracksuits and Burberry caps for last Wednesday circling. The Facebook event page, which has since been deleted, generated over 200 comments, many of which criticised the theme for mocking the working class. Second year student Felix Thompson asks, why has class moku become acceptable and entertaining? We need to analyse those reasons. The use of such a stereotype of fancy dress is becoming an increasingly popular occurrence at Wednesday circling events. Next week, the Nordic Society are holding Chav circling. On the event's Facebook page, the social secretaries are encouraging members to show no mercy to the stereotype. One student who wished to remain anonymous claims the fancy dress is harmless fun, it isn't offensive and it is merely imitating popular culture. In recent years, chaffing parties have been an ongoing issue for student bodies across Britain. Oxford University students met disapproval last year for Chav Bob, just one of the controversial themed parties held by their union. The wide contention over such a theme suggests social secretaries may be faced with pressure to pick a more politically correct circling fancy dress. Last Monday, the SU held this year's first all-student meeting in the atrium. The meeting gave students the opportunity to debate on nine different topics, including proposals to cap seminar group sizes, create a new Cryfield bus stop, redevelop the humanities building and to prevent unreasonable price hikes in campus accommodation rents. Despite concerns about the low turnout, with only 60 students present at best, 1,092 work students voted on the motions online via the SU website. Results from last Friday's votes have overturned SU boycotts against Nestle, Bacardi and oil companies. Work SU will continue to boycott arms companies including BAE Systems, but sports clubs and societies are now free to seek sponsorship from them if they wish. All other motions regarding the Cryfield bus stop, the humanities building and seminar group sizes were passed. Last Saturday, the Butterworth Hall of the Warwick Arts Centre hosted Warwick University's very own fashion show, the first event of the One World Week Festival celebrating the cultural diversity within the campus. The show was created around the theme of stages of life and death. The glamorous event involved more than 100 people and 20 societies displaying some fascinating clothes, sometimes even accompanied by daring dance moves. With high-end fashion pieces, DJs performing live sets and an incredibly dynamic audience, the show proved to be a great success and a highlight of the year for Warwick Community. For more information on these stories, visit our website at tv.warwick.ac.uk or theboard.org. See you next week and thanks for watching.